from Legacy and you know I'm with Feroz and we're Legacy and today we're going to talk about some of the stuff happening around the world and more especially America and we're going to talk about keeping it real and how that affects us as well and yeah so basically um, David hit me up this morning and like we were just talking about what happened to uh, Sandra, uh, I think her name's Bland or Bland, Sandra Bland, I don't know how to pronounce it, sorry. And um, you know, my mindset was like, you know, I'm just going to chill this whole morning, you know, like I'm not going to bother with anything. But then, you know, when we were talking about it, like, it, it kind of uh, hit me as well, like, think about what's going on, like, while you're here distracted with all this, like, social media bullshit and um sorry, social media and um you know just so many irrelevant things happening around you like the fact of the matter is there's injustices like happening all around like i want to put this in perspective for you guys so um let me not even say parents let me just say an older guardian or someone you look up to because you know not everyone has parents around so imagine you have like an older guardian right and you know them with all your heart suicide it's not even the last thing they would do they just wouldn't do it they get pulled over for something stupid like I don't know, a broken indicator or whatever and um you know they they get them arrested that's already a surprise that's already bad enough they got arrested and then now you're hearing about suicide like that really got me angry like how can someone commit suicide that and as you say, people, you know this person with all your heart, that's something they would never do. And um, it's just really, especially the police in America this year. I, I know you, some people will be saying, wait, you're from the UK, what does it have to do with America? The, the truth is that it's bigger than what's around you, it's bigger than your ends, it's bigger than your family, it's all of us. It's everyone around the world, like, that's the truth. And when we say things like that, people don't understand or... You're, 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 you're thinking too much, you're this, this or that, but it really is bigger than us, it really is a bigger picture. Like, the police, like, you, you, some of the tax that you pay, obviously it must go towards the justice system in some sort of way, right? Like, I don't know too much about finances and economics and that, but I know that much, right? So you must pay tax for some sort, of, and it must contribute to the justice system somehow. And you know, all that money going to the justice system and the amount of power that you give the police, with great power comes great responsibility, the amount of power we give the police, and they're just using it to, to kill us and abuse us and beat us down. And I'm not even going to say white police because I've heard of black police do it too, it's just the police full stop. Like, how? Like, how can you have so much... Yeah, if, we're allowing you to have that much power you meant to handle it in a responsible way to enforce the law and protect people but I feel that even um, not even just blacks everyone everyone as a community we take it too far too lightly we take it far too lightly to be respected and to be honest I also feel that in our communities we lack the respect amongst ourselves and that is why, yeah, and that is why people feel, to, like, especially people like the police feel to disrespect us. If we were had enough respect among our communities and we unified, the police wouldn't try that. Because they know what they do to one of us, they do to all of us, and they would suffer big consequences for it. You know, and that's just how I felt about the police and how they abuse their power. And also how they're killing excellence young excellence before they leave like indirectly like here's something that's more closer to home mark duggan like mark duggan he must have uh, i think a father of four or six children and they just killed him they just like you know it's, it's reality they just killed him and who knows like there's so many people have been successful whether they've had their parents around or not but Maybe them having a father could have made a big difference. This is why I say the world comes in, because who knows what those four, six children could have been if they had their father around. Like, they could have been world changers. But them not having their father around, that's a crucial factor that's been removed from their life. And it never had to be that way. They could have been the ones to make real changes, not just for the black community, but for everyone. 
because the world is more than just black people it's all of us and you know those children could like they have potential every child has potential but when you remove a father from the picture who knows what's going to happen that's probably more resentment towards the system that already has enough resent and that's probably more violence more criminals on the street like you know what I'm saying that's how I felt about all this you know leading on from that I'm talking about keeping it real nowadays a lot of people think they're too real people claim they're too real people say oh no you're not keeping it real keep it real fam keep it real fam you're a snake you're this you're that keep it real one thing we fail to do is keep it real about the real situations happening around us people have this short-sighted vision where they can't see the world for what it really is they can't see that the world is much more bigger than their blocks than the community where they chill and say keep it real fam now we've had Mark Duggan, we've had Mike Brown we've had so many people, we've had San Sandra Bland as well who just got killed recently and what are we doing about it? Nothing so many people in power so many black role models in power Jay-Z, Beyonce, Game, 50 Cent, Mick Mill, Drake, Chris Brown how many of them have stood up together as a collective to fight against what's going on? how many? everyone's too scared, too scared of their responsibility too scared to do something, too scared to stand and do something against it our religious leaders our world leaders, our political leaders, no one's doing anything how many times have you been to a temple, a mosque, church where they actually say nah what's going on is beyond what we could understand what's going on is unjust and unethical so we should stand together united to talk against it, to preach against it so everything stops we need spiritual enlightenment but how can we see the blessings of God if our spirit, spiritual leaders can't lead us correctly they're not keeping it real that's why we kill ourselves what's going on in America can't be explained now she has a family who have to go through so much tribulation and the family member is being slandered by the media and the police and we do nothing about it how long till it becomes one of us how long how long will it take for us to realize we need to do something united too many people are dying too many michael jackson preached about it in so many songs too far same too many people we're not keeping it real so how can I tell a brother to keep it real if I'm not keeping it real about the real situations going on? If my realness is all about clubbing, partying and all of that, how am I keeping it real? You know what I'm saying? Like, all this like, I don't know, everyone's attention seems like so like weird these days, like even when even when older people are talking to me they're always like oh, I like how you're not focused on what all these other teenagers are like about their appearance and partying and all those things like I, don't know, I feel people should stop putting their energies like towards things that are serious like that are really serious like things that aren't temporary because things like how you look how much money you're getting those are all temporary like what you don't think you're gonna die and they're all gonna go like we're so busy competing, you told me this the other day, we're so busy competing against each other, all racing against each other, trying to get first place. First place to what? We all have the same final destination, the same finish line. If we learn to love, we can break out. I'm asking for the Lord to find a way out. No more, no more, no more, no more, no more, no more, no more. No more.